My name is uh, Tamás Heidegger. I come from Hungary, Budapest, uh, where we have a, a robotics lab called the Tony Bajci Center for Intelligence and Robotics. And actually, Tony Bajci was the was the guy who worked for 35 years for JPL NASA, and he was the lead engineer of the first Mars rover. So we are very proud of uh, holding his name. But but currently, what we are focusing is not that much uh, space robotics; it's medical robotics. So that's my key interest. I've been into this field for 10 years, and medical and surgical robotics is is really coming emerging big domain of robotics and uh, what we are trying to do is now we have just joined the research da vinci program this is very exciting because finally after so many years uh, medical people have been using da vinci on a daily basis all of a sudden now uh, the manufacturer decided to open up and created a research interface with johns hopkins university and roaster polytechnic institute that we got access to so we can use it as an open platform. We can use it to do whatever we want. And that's finally realizing something that we couldn't do before, real tell operation, for example. So now we can use the DaVinci system in our lab to, to access remotely anywhere. So the slave can go to, to like the animal lab outside of Budapest, or it can go to France Atlantic. And we can experiment with all the theoretical results, for example, the one that brought here for time delayed teleoperation so we can solve problems and maybe that leads us back to space so if something goes wrong on the way to Mars in 20 years from now well actually we, we're gonna shoot off maybe 11 years from now but no one knows but then we, we're gonna be able to use this kind of technology to help astronauts another more practical aspect that we are looking into is to do skill assessment no one knows who is a good surgeon so we've been looking long into recording the motions of the surgeons and they d we put them special gloves and all these kind of things but this is very cumbersome and it's still hard to get the data out of it robotic surgery on the head and ha other hand is like really bringing this down from the engineering point of view to a more feasible approach where you already using a joystick lighting to telemanipulate and that's why you can record everything you can record the video you can record the motion you can record the forces everything happening out there and now this is going to lead us tremendous new way give us tremendous new ways to explore uh, what surgery is really about and then once we understand it and once you know who's a good surgeon we can just create mathematical models to describe that and hopefully in one day maybe not next day but next year maybe in 10 years or so we can replicate that in an automated format and have our robots performing surgery on you